Okay, let's look at a new coding concept, exception handling. Okay, your Python code may produce errors. It happens to everybody. It's hard to foresee all possible errors, but you can try to handle them in case anyway. So use the try, accept, and optional, finally, keywords to manage error handling. Okay, so in example code, if no chair or table was returned, an exception error is raised and it includes a text string that can be read and written to the console. So down here in get furniture, in the actual code, in get furniture, if the code gets to this point here, it means we haven't actually found a chair or a table. So I raise an exception, no factory found, or I could just say no furniture found. And then in the accept down here, if I get an exception, I put it into a variable E and then just print that out. And the code actually isn't ever going to get there if we find furniture because we're returning here before we even get to there. Okay, so let's try that out. We'll request a wooden table and we'll see what kind of error we get. So in client.py, let's look for a wooden chair and run that. Client.py says no factory found. Okay, so that is is what I asked to do. So if we got to that point, I'd just raise an exception saying no factory found. Okay, so just printed that out. Now, don't always have to raise an exception like I did in that case there. Some exceptions will just happen if there is wrong input of some sort. So to demonstrate that, we'll use this small piece of code here. So copy that. I've copied that to the clipboard now. And we'll go into the code. Down the bottom here, let's just create a new file called test.com py and paste that in so control s to save now let's run that python test.py now my id has already told me there's a problem here but we're going to see the problem when we run the program okay an unknown error occurred i'm just printing out except an unknown error occurred the actual problem is we have an undefined variable but my program when i ran it it printed an unknown error occurred because i just did that in the broad exception here and finally we can see what finally does finally just gets run anyway so this is optional and we get called even if there is no error so let me just do print one prints one and it also runs the finally line now what i've done here versus what i was doing here where i was manually raising the exception and then catching that exception here using the accept keyword here any exception at all i'm just going to print that out so this is a broad exception and this is actually a broad exception as well because exception is actually a base class but we'll come on to that in a moment instead what i can actually do is capture a specific kind of error so if i just add a new accept here we'll catch a undefined variable exception so in python that is called a name error so accept name error so this is a particular kind of error that our program has detected and let's print a name error occurred a name error occurred so this time it's not actually going to get that line it's going to take the name error okay a name error occurred and the finally line ran also once again it's optional a name error occurred okay so you can add exception handling for as many types of errors as you like to read more about all the different kinds of errors that you can get in python well there's lots of them you can read the official python tutorial on errors so let's look at the code again to see what i've done i've got a try except i have no finally in this sample code but i also manually raise an exception and it's called exception that's a broad exception and then just print out the custom text that i've decided to write out Okay, and in the test here, I've got a different kind of exception. My var happens because I haven't declared the variable. And if I get a name error, I'll print out as a name error. Otherwise, any other kind of error, print out an unknown error occurred. But even so, let's just demonstrate what happens if I declare my var. My var equals zero. Okay, it's initialized now. Okay, zero. And the finally line still ran. So you'll see try accept, maybe multiple accepts and finallys throughout other people's code. Okay, now another small detail. This is known as a broad exception. Exception is a base class. It's best practice not to use the exception base class, but to try and find more specific errors or even raise more specific errors. So I'll just show you that. If I just do pylint on this furniture factory file here, pylint abstract furniture factory, the pylint error catching to general exception 
exception, broad exception. So while this still works and we can see that it works because I just did a search for wooden table before, we can be more specific and the particular kind of error that you could raise here is a value error. Value error with a text string as well. So I could say accept value error as a print E. We're looking for value error and falling back to an exception error. Let's just run that. Python abstract factory client py says no factory found. So value error works now, but we haven't fixed up the pylint error or the pylint warning just yet. Let's do the pylint check. Says still catching two general exception exceptions. So it doesn't matter. I can just remove that. And pylint is now happy 10 out of 10. So there are your options. You can see the code does exactly the same thing, but instead of me saying raise exception error and catching the exception error, I'm just using a value error. And that fixes the pilot warning. Okay, so excellent. Remember, read more about errors here if you like. In the next section, we'll talk about the builder pattern. Excellent.